Many Nigerians will argue that the standard of education in Nigeria has fallen. This, they say, will affect Nigerian students' rating on the international stage. The cut-off marks released by the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board, JAMP. According to Dr. Shodunke, the President Association of Tutorial School Operators sends the wrong signal on the standard of Nigeria's education system. Schools should not go below 120, but they can go above 120. Between my opinion, maybe probably not the opinion of the association, my opinion, I, because Sion has not taken a stand, I am not happy with such policy. It sends a wrong signal to people out there that our education is finished totally. Number of uh, performances of our students is deteriorating. That could be the reason why 120 has been fixed as the benchmark for one to, uh, for students. So I don't like the way they are breaking down the the cut off mark because Nigeria education is dropping by breaking down the cut off mark. The cut off mark should remain as it is so as to develop the education level of Nigeria. He stated that post UTME in schools should not be encouraged as he applauds the jump registrar for making sure institutions don't charge more than 2,000 naira for the processes of admission. Post jam came because jam was not credible. Their questions were leaking and so on. But now, the new man there, Professor Isha Koloyede, has solved most of those things. As I'm talking to you, a lot of people, right, are in, you know, cells and prisons and whatever. The man is so upright, so disciplined. I like him for that. With JAM coming out with new cut-off marks, the question is, will institutions admit qualified candidates in the most transparent and flexible manner? Ayobamiek Bashe, Co-TV News, Lagos.